hopefully you can see this it's nighttime right now in the workshop but got a good light shining on it so hopefully it comes up clear this is refreshing the sr 20 det cylinder head that thing's pretty gunky but it looks in decent shape actually so the plan for this um, strip it all down clean it all up so it looks like a brand new head um, I'm going to lap the valves I'm going to uh, put new seals and just check everything out make sure the valves are still straight and everything and then when I put it back together I am going to put a rocker arm stoppers on it as well So first order, what I usually do is, for me, I set the uh, cylinder head to where the front of the engine would be facing this way. And then I have this handy box right here all set up to put all the valves, uh, the rocker arms, keepers, etc. So this box is, you know, marked this way for a front of the engine. I'm going to put all the valves inside these holes right there so it's going to hang over that's intake side this is exhaust side same thing and inside the box i'm going to put the uh springs the rocker arms etc etc now this is actually my first time even touching anything on a sr head i've uh rebuilt the ka head which i have a video on but um, the only difference, I mean, a cylinder head's pretty much a cylinder head. The only difference, KA is a bucket over shim design for the valves, and the SR is rocker arm design. So other than that, it's, it's all pretty standard, the same thing, actually. So it should go well. So obviously, I've already removed the cams, so this is going to be... Assuming that you already have the cylinder head off the car, this is where you're going to be right now and looking at your engine. So I'm just going to start. And, um, I took out all the uh, the uh, head bolts. And I'm just going to start taking out the gaskets and then going with the uh, rocker arms, placing them in your little box here. Because uh, everything needs to go back in. If you're reusing everything from your old head, it needs to go back in the exact same cylinder and spot that you pulled it out of. We're going to go and remove um, our lifters. So you just take a pair of vice grips, pliers. Mm, don't clamp it over the um, lifter. Just put it over a little bit and just kind of give the lifter a little rock, a little shimmy back and forth. And they should just come out. They should. There you go. There we go. There is one super oily, dirty, grimy lifter. So again, put that in the corresponding space right there. Uh, you can't really see. And move on to the next one. Alright, you get the idea on that. And then the next thing would be to remove the shins on top of the valves. Just going to use this uh, valve tool. And just pop them off. You could use a uh, one of those long um, uh, magnetic wands. You could use one of those too. does the same thing. But lay those out in your box with the corresponding valve as well. All right, now we're really getting into the grit of everything right now. We're gonna be um, removing all of our uh, valve springs so we can push out the valves. And if you're using the Lyle tool, you're going to take a shop towel rag or a bunch of um, shop towels 
and place it inside the combustion chamber of the cylinder head and then push it down against your flat surface that you're working on and as soon as I get these keepers out of this Lyle tool we can proceed come on come on come on uh, hold on hold on hold that thought hold hold that thought all right there's one come on there's two ah. Okay, now I'm done playing around with that. You take your Lyle tool, if this is what you're using to remove your valves, you place it over the valve, and, well, okay, these are freaking hard. I've done this on a KA by hand, and it's been easier than this to take these out just by pushing it in. So we're going to go with our um, mallet method. So usually on, on a KA valve, I've been able just to press these in by hand and it removes the keepers, but these are pretty snug inside here. So you take the mallet, just put it over the valve, whack it hard, and your retainer and your keepers will be inside here. There's a retainer, two keepers will be inside there. Wham, bam. And of course, these are going to be stubborn to get out. Just like everything else on your um, cylinder head, you want to keep this in order of everything. Exactly how it came off. So, let's go ahead and slide your keepers inside the retainer. Like so. And then you're going to line this up with the rest of your valves and everything you took off so this is um last cylinder i need a bigger box this is a smaller this is too small a box so i'm gonna do that later but for right now i'm just gonna set it up like this and then i'm gonna put all this crap in a bigger box but basically here's a different angle you put your Lyle tool over the valve. It's magnetic, so it's going to stay in place. And you have to set the camera down again. You just um, take your mallet, give it a good whack. You might have to give it like two, depending on how hard you hit it. And there you go. There's the retainer and your keepers inside. And just continue all with all what sixteen? Yeah, sixteen valves. And then, like I said, remember to lay whoa, lay all your parts out. How they came off the the cylinder head. So when you have one cylinder done, you could lift up your head and take out the um, shop tiles, and then from the top. You could reach up and just slowly push your valves out. As you see right there, there's one valve. There's two. There's, those are the two um, intake valves right there. And let me uh, try to lower this down. So what you just do, you just gently press on the valve stem on the top and then grab it from the bottom that's it it's pretty simple and then once again you want to make sure you line up the valves for sure back where they came out of especially if you're reusing your valves so i'm running out of room in that box i gotta really consolidate and get a bigger box so i'm going to start putting my stuff up here
I don't have much room up here either. I really need to really need to clean some stuff out here. But for right now, this is gonna have to work. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so hopefully you made it through all that. You have all your valves and springs laid out in a row, corresponding how they go. My instance, this is the front of the engine facing that way. So they're all the intakes and exhaust side right here. So your stripped down head should look like this. All grimy, most likely. Uh, a tip on using the Lyle tool. Um, the little keepers will get stuck inside there, so you're gonna have to take a screwdriver and pry them out. I guess it takes a little bit to get used to using this a few times to get it down. A lot of people don't like using them, just because they are sometimes a pain, but once you get it down, you could get through that pretty fast, actually, getting all the valves out. On the overhead cam cylinder head, I prefer to use this instead of the ones that you put over the valve because you can't really get those inside here on the import engine cylinder head. Alright, so we're going to be at this point of still stripping down here. Now we get, need to get the uh, valve seals out from inside there. What I usually use is just a thin pair of vice grips and then I just set it probably like slightly large or slightly slightly smaller than your seat and hold on one sec I'm trying to do this with one hand all right so I'm going to guide it the vice grip over your valve stem and lock it in place and like, like I said you're not gonna like tighten it a lot so you want to make sure it's just fairly snug and then start twisting and pulling up at the same time and then all of a sudden your seat should just pop up there we go there we go so there's one valve stem seal right there it could be all grimy that's cool and discard that's trash and just continue to do that with all of them again light light pressure over it you don't want to like really squeeze it and then twist twist and pull up at the same time and it should start coming out and it should pop out right now there you go all right so just like your valves and the keepers just continue to do that with all of them all 16 and i'll see you in a minute this poor poor sr head so grimy look at that it's crazy